Hi everyone, my name is Becca Oaks with MakersGonnaLearn.com and today is Q&A Tuesday where we are going to be talking about why your print and cut projects are not cutting properly. Before we get started with our Q&A today, I want to give you a little bit of information about who we are and what we do here at Makers Gonna Learn. If you are new here, Makers Gonna Learn is an amazing community of die cut crafters and we offer the inspiration, education, and motivation to die cut crafters to become excellent crafters. Not only do you get access to our amazing library of cut files and fonts, but you also get the education to really learn your Cricut and design space and learn how to make amazing one-of-a-kind projects. So if you're interested in learning about our membership, click the link below and become a member here at Makers Gonna Learn. Okay, so on to our Q&A for today about Print and Cut. You may not know what Print and Cut is, but if you do, you may have also had some issues with your Print and Cut projects. And we're going to talk through troubleshooting how to get your Print and Cut projects to be wonderful. So one issue that you may have with your Print and Cut projects is that lighting affects your machine. There is a sensor in your machine that reads the registration marks that your printer will print out. And if your lighting is not perfect or a little bit shadowy or shady, then it can affect those sensor marks. So a couple of things that you may wanna consider are direct sunlight or really strong fluorescent lighting on or directly over your Cricut that could be um, causing shadows with your machine. One thing that you can do is turn those lights off. You could move your Cricut to another spot, or we like to sometimes drape a, a sheet or something like that over our Cricut if moving the Cricut or turning the lights off is just not an option. So definitely check out your lighting and see if that is your problem. Another issue that you might be having with your print and cut projects is the position of your material. So no matter what material you're using, whether it's print and cut vinyl, print and cut heat transfer vinyl, cardstock, magnets, whatever, you need to put your printable product in the top left corner of your mat and then your machine will know how to cut that properly. The other thing is that you wanna make sure that it is smooth on your mat without wrinkles so that the sensor in your machine will read those registration marks properly. Another problem that you might be having is that your sensor on your machine is dirty. So if you're using really glossy materials like a glossy printable vinyl or something that you have sprayed over with a polyurethane to seal it, then the reflection from the light a lot of times will be an issue, especially if your sensor is dirty. So you wanna take a dry, small, almost like a watercolor brush and just gently swipe over the sensor, which is at the bottom here, and clean that off of any debris or dust that might be there. So now you've troubleshooted all the issues with your machine. Your machine is now cutting your print and cut projects, but they look a little odd. Maybe the quality is weird or the cut marks are a little bit off. So let's talk about some ways that we can improve that so that you can have a very professional finished project. So the first and easiest thing that you may want to try is to turn the bleed option on when you're doing your print and cut. So what bleed does is add a small border all the way around your project, which allows for more precise cutting. The second thing to do is to toggle the use system dialog box. So when you do that and press print, the system dialog box will open up underneath Cricut and that is where you can change the settings to improve the quality from normal to best. That is amazing, especially on glossy materials. And you can also choose from that point where to feed your material. So if you have a back tray on your printer, then you can feed from the back tray and just go ahead and let your computer know that that's where it's coming from. The last and final thing that you want to do is calibrate your machine if you're having issues with your print and cut. So the way that you know that you need to calibrate your machine is if you are getting projects that have a border around them that should not be there. So as you can see over here, I've cut into my uh, little home body couch and over here I still have white, it doesn't look normal. This is what a properly calibrated machine will render. So if you are having these issues, you want to calibrate your machine. 
It's very easy to do it. Everyone should calibrate your machine, especially if you're moving it around a lot. A lot of times it can get out of kilter. So calibrating your machine just makes your cuts more precise and more professional. If you need more detailed information on how to calibrate your machine, click the link below. We have a detailed video for print and cut calibration, knife blade calibration, and rotary blade calibration. And doing that will really just step up your game and make your finished projects really professional. Thank you so much for watching this fun Q&A with us. We are here every Tuesday with new Q&As that are issued from our members. They are commonly asked questions that we just wanna go over with you all. Before you leave, if you thought that this video was very helpful and you would like to benefit from other education that we offer, click the link below to get our free five-day challenge and learn lots more about your Cricut. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys here another day for another video.